All right, hi everybody. Wow. Um, this is going to be JoJo Bizarre Adventure Star Stardust Crusaders episode forty six review. When I first heard about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, how I was introduced, I, I want to bring this up because this this ties into this episode. At least for me, I feel it ties into this episode. When I first got involved into JoJo, first person who told me about it, I believe, or did me get me involved into watching it, were several people. The two that I narrowed it down to were, I think everybody knows, we're both pulling. I would say him, and Devil Artemis. And the Lawrence basically showed me, you know, a few things. He told me about the OVA, and I saw the OVA. What really struck me was the real crazy thing about the OVA, and this episode, and next week's episode, is you really feel it. Seeing this occur in this episode the way it did I think there is no doubt in anyone's mind of this fact Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders will be bar none no arguments Required the best fucking anime of 2015. The only anime I can think of that can even compete with JoJo, Stardust Crusaders, what? One Punch Man? Maybe? But I'm sorry. I can't argue with this. This is the best fucking anime of the, of the year. It really is. I don't know anybody else that I heard a few people saying they got chills when they saw this episode, you know, that scene and everything. I did too. It it brought me back to the OVA and what happened to the OVA. And it makes me think like, whoa, whoa, we're gonna do this. Like, it's gonna be like, holy shit, this is gonna go down. Oh, it's gonna be amazing, man. Oh, God damn. And I have to say, the voice actor who's playing Dio Brando is freaking amazing. He really is. He's amazing. But Joseph is amazing. Taro, you know. Now, this was a pretty crazy episode. You know, obviously, Kaku and he gets. And we got a huge flashback with him and his parents, and how he basically couldn't make friends. That, that, that's a dead giveaway. That's a dead giveaway. Come on, that, you know. Is this fucking dead? You know, you know, yeah, he's gonna be killed and shit. But finds out pretty much after getting literally killed of Dio's power of Zamudo. And that 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 one scene when that's another thing with this episode that had me go like, yo, that scene was sick. Joseph's about to tell Jotaro uh, excuse me, about Dio's ability over Stank. And Dio said Zorodo. When he said that, I was like, yo, that shit was fucking amazing. Everything stopped. And it was like, yo, this is good. Really good. 
But yeah, basically after Kakuo, he finds out, he tells, he, tell, he sends a message to Joseph by destroying the clock. Um, this, this was, was pretty fucking amazing, this episode. And it feels we're everywhere. And I, just the confrontation alone between Jotaro and Dio in this episode was enough to remind me of the OVA and enough to remind me that this is going to be one of the best fucking fights I will see in any anime that is really, really good in a very long time. I don't even think you can even fathom how amazing this fight's going to be between Jotaro and Dio. Jotaro and Dio. Now, I don't remember the OVA if Joseph dies. I'm not sure. I mean, he got stabbed in the neck, but, you know, with, with the Zarudo. And that is really, when you get down to the bare bones about Dio and his ability, basically he explains how the quicker the neck wound he has of the basically connection between his head and, and Jonathan's body healed, the longer he could stop time, periods of time. So now he could stop it for like, I believe he said five seconds. Um, and five seconds does, might not seem long, but it's enough time to do some serious damage to your opponent, I think, anyway. Now, I'm not going to say what's going to happen next week, but next week's going to be called Deals World Part 3, and with this kind of animation, I wouldn't even, I dare say, this will probably be, now don't get me wrong, now I'm, not, I'm not sure like when, I'm trying to remember what year, when, when we got the, um, that crazy episode, <sighs> of Hunter Hunter, you know when Gollum transforms and everything? I believe that was last year. Yeah, it was last year. So, can't really call on the same boat. This will be the best fight of any anime series. Anything from this year. Hands down. I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious when I say that. This gets a 5 out of 5 this episode. Everything in this episode was done so well. The animation, the voice acting, just the immense emotion and ferocity and what was going down and what was said is amazing. And I just can't wait to see the conclusion of this fight. I can't wait to see it all wrap up. I can't wait to see the final thing go down. This fight between Jotaro and Dio Brando it is going to be amazing. I'm telling you people who haven't seen the OVA, who haven't read the manga, who haven't done anything. Those people who are just watching this show, just watching it, and they haven't watched the OVA, and they haven't read the manga, Listen, man, I will not steer you wrong. Best anime fight of the year? Hell, it might be the best anime fight in Shonen. I'll even go that far. And listen, will I say, yeah, I'll even 
to say if that that's the only fight of Sean's doing. I would. Come on. Come at me, bros. Come at me. I, I truly believe it. I really do. With this kind of animation and what's been going down with JoJo, it's just, it's just, it, it's, it's, it's God tier. It's motherfucking God tier. Dio Brando versus Jotaro. The, you know, next week it's going to be God tier. And anyone who disagrees, get the fuck out. Simple as that. But, great episode, 5 out of 5. I felt really bad for calculating. Uh, and Joseph. Um, this should be very interesting next week. <sighs> Teal Brando, man. The guy who plays him. Give, give, this, give this guy a free steak dinner. Free booze. Give him free everything. Because he fucking deserves it. He just plays Dio so fucking well. It's not even funny. He can fuck my bitch. Hell. He can... He's my bro, this guy who plays Dio Brando. Whoever he is, he's a man. He is the man. He's like the manus of Stannis. Yeah. So, I went on for 12 minutes with this review. This was a great episode. I, I After watching the OVA, and now I see this, it just, it just gives me that feeling again. When I first saw the OVA, and oh man, it's just gonna be so amazing to see that shit again. To see this fight again with Dio Brando and Joe Toro, and to see conclude, it's just gonna be amazing. I, I, that's all I can say to you people. I'm Bonk on I22. I will see you guys later. Great fucking episode, JoJo. Just, just great fucking episode. I'm sorry. It, it's the best of the fucking year. It's all fucking serious. It's, it is. It just is. I'll see you guys later. Peace.